I couldn't pretend to make any of this up for not a second. We got a drop. We have a drop. I'm late to this, but we have a drop for tomorrow. We have the greatest era, the 90s edition packs dropping tomorrow, featuring Pink Diamond, Chris Mullen. We got Diamond, Derek Coleman, Diamond Grant Hill, Diamond Latrell Sprewell, Diamond Ronnie Seekley. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And Diamond Kenny Anderson. Um, Out of this drop, who am I excited to see? If I had to be honest with you, I'm looking at, of course, Chris Mullen. I'm looking at Latrell Sprewell for defense. Uh, Grant Hill. Grant Hill is my card. That's the card I really want to see out of here. Um, Kenny Anderson. Yeah, I would love it. Ron Seekley. I would love to have a, a center. He looks like I think he's a seven footer. I'm not sure. We don't have 2K database yet. So hopefully they get their act together or get brought up to speed for what's going on. But this drop is I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm going to keep it 100 percent honest with you. You might not see me pulling packs out of this drop. I might pull a few. You're not going to see me pulling for this drop, though. I mean, it's a it's a big miss for me. I mean, honestly, it seems like they've ramped up on drops. I'm not. I mean, OK, I was used to seeing the agendas midweek and then a, a Friday drop, a Friday drop of new, you know, big cards. But seeing pink diamonds this early in the game and not really feeling like they're attainable like that if that makes sense. I mean, of course they'll be on the auction house, but for me to spend money on packs for this, nah, nah, I can, I can grind MT until the prices come down on some of the cards, the previous cards and the previous drop. You know what I'm saying? I can really wait for that. Uh, it's, it's just not, it's, I'm not jumping at this. I went, I went ahead and I spent a bunch of my primary MT VC situation early on the full throttles. I was trying to get that James, I want that LeBron James. So, I mean, it is what it is at this point. I can't, uh, I can't tell you in good faith to jump at these packs. It just doesn't make sense to me. From a, from a 2K player standpoint, from a my team player standpoint, it doesn't make sense to just jump at these packs, but there are some good cards in here. I mean, and I'm, I'm willing to bet there are some other good cards in the drop as well behind these premier cards that they're showing you on the screen. So, I mean, just be ready tomorrow to lock in. I wish we had 2K database to be 100% transparent. I do wish that we had the 2K database going on, but we don't. So that's a whole nother story. I mean, at this point in time, I'm willing to get in where I fit in. And I understand where I fit in the community right now is just a no-go for me. It's really a no-go. Um, I'm, I'm still gauging out what the monetary value of these cards really are. And if I can, with the auction house in play, I'm definitely going to find some good players, some budget players, some budget ballers down the line, and they're going to be viable later on in the game. Diamonds will be viable for a long time. The fact that pink diamonds are already out is kind of crazy to me, but I don't see a lot of people who get on that rim. Wimby, baby. I do not see a whole lot of people pulling these cards. I'm not seeing. I haven't played too much online gameplay, so I can't call it who has what, but judging from the way that things are going right now i'm not putting too much stock into what happens next i'm really gonna put i'm really gonna put most of my stock into what's going on at the moment and what i can get to down the line so what's gonna be available to me down the line hopefully we can get to some of these cards that already drop and play it by ear that way but at the same time just build up mt until we can get into that auction house and find some hitters some hitters some good hitters that are worth the the budget some budget ballers i'm really budget balling this year and i mean that's what i really want to preach to you right now in this video is work with your budget if you don't have it like that don't stress having these cards they're not going to make you or break you especially if you have thumbs and iq they can't patch iq if the, the day that they do i will stop playing the game so you can guarantee you will get cards that will be viable just work with what you have right now my real real spiel all i can tell you concrete concrete boy music get into these dominations every five domination games you will get 10k mt you get into these dominations go get your jalen brunson if that's who it is i think that's who it is and then go get your tim your timmy timmy duncan i'm trying to get to timmy duncan now i'm working my way up the ladder it is what it is just take it it's still week it's still month one we're still at the top of the, the pyramid the bottom of the pyramid so, I mean, just understand it gets greasier 
not easier. You know what I'm saying? So I would just, I would just really implore you all to take your time and not put too much stock into these new cards that they keep dropping because we all are, are still just learning how to play the game. There's a lot of BS in place that we're trying to navigate through. So, I mean, with all that said, don't put too much stock into these cards, bro. You see what I'm doing with Wimby out here. I'm just learning the game. I'm out here on, look, go sit in domination on real player percentage, put it on rookie. I mean, whatever, it's on all-star, I believe. I don't know, whatever. It's not hard to play. It's not hard to play. Just put it on real player percentage. Get out here and just learn the tales of these jump shots. Learn how slow and how fast some of these jump shots are. Watch these shooters shoot. Don't just chuck up shots on real player percentage. Watch these players shoot. Get to know how fast or slow your players' jumpers are. See the flick of the wrist. Understand and feel the jump shot. You can still feel the jump shot through real player percentage. Try and time it. Try and release it at the time where you think it releases. Don't just be out here holding the button aimlessly like a bot. Don't be a bot. I'm not telling you to use real player in domination to be a bot. I'm telling you to learn your players that you have. They're the best thing, you can have the worst players in the game. And if you know their jumpers, then you're gonna make it rain. If you know how to use your players and use what you have on the field, it doesn't matter what you have on the board. Either way, just don't give up. That's the one thing I'm telling you. And try new things, try new things. I'm putting out a settings video sooner than later. I'm trying to get it right for you guys, but either way, just keep on trucking. You know what I mean? And as far as these, uh, the greatest era, 90s edition, I feel like the 2000s was the greatest era. I'm not gonna hold you. I don't know if we're getting a Kobe. I don't know if they can monetize Kobe and that's cold blooded. But at the end of the day, Chris Mullen is just not really, he's not really gonna make it happen for me where I feel like I need to go take out a loan from the bank and, and you know what I mean? Put a, a lien against my house to get Chris Mullen. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, at the end of the day, I will pull a few though. Like I said, like I said previously, I will pull some of these. Ooh, Glenn Rice is actually one of those ones. I got lucky. I got Glenn Rice out of the three pointers. Out of the three point magicians, what are they called? What were these? All these cards, all these packs sound funny to me. They've thrown a lot of packs at us already. We've had what, four drops? This is crazy work. Not, I've never, I never thought that we'd have four drops at this early in the game. We've had the game for two weeks, I think. Whatever. Anyway, Latrell Sprewell might be a hitter. If you can get your hands on Grant Hill, if you can get your hands on Ronnie Seekley. I don't know too much on Kenny Anderson. I'm not really, ah, uh, Derek Coleman. How tall is Derek Coleman? That's my question. I wish we had the 2K database to look it up. I'm, uh, we have Google, I can Google it. I can Google it real quick, honestly. Okay, so movie magic, a 6'10 center with a dream. Uh, hey, if that height is right, I'm not tripping off of Derek Coleman, the power forward spot or center spot, depending on what his three pointer is like. It, that really makes the difference. But Ronnie Seekley, if I'm saying his name right, Seekley, I mean, I, I think he can rival some of the bigger, we do have a, what, a Kareem already? There's a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar out there. Who's out there already? I mean, we have some we have some hitters out there already. So I think he may be able to rival them if he's seven feet. Let's see how tall he actually is. Okay, so no, Seekley is 6'11". So, I mean, depending on what he's his jumper is like, if he has a three-point shot, I doubt it. You know, who knows? Who knows at this point? We don't have any intel on these cards yet. So, I mean, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I do need a big, but I'm working with Wimby right now. I'm not mad at working with Wimby. I'm working with Emerald uh, Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming, tallest center in the game. So, I don't know. Um, I know what I will flip out for, though, because when it's time, I'll have to flip out for it. When they put out, when they actually put out a taco, when Taco Fall gets gets to the boards, maybe I'll flip out. Maybe I'll say something erratic. Maybe I'll get some VC or something for it. Open a 20 box. But for right now, I'm not, I'm just not, I'm not gassing it. I'm just not, I'm not gonna gas it for these cards. You know what I mean? I got, I got enough hitters on my team right now that I feel like I'm learning the game with and that's fine for me. At this point in the game, that's fine for me. The real situation is what are they going to do about the cheaters? What are they going to do about those guys? Are we going to get we're going to get some intel as to what we're going to do about? Never mind. I'm not even going to go too hard into it. That's the drop that's coming up tomorrow, though. You see it. You see what's going on here. You uh, you have the info right here beyond a reasonable doubt that 
it's not really worth pulling. I mean, I, I can give you the info right here. It's not worth it. I mean, it's just not worth it to go all up and out, go up and Adam and over it. I don't, I don't see it. I don't, I don't see it. Not right now. Um, honestly, when this pack, when these packs do drop and after maybe some time, I would be checking, I would actually be checking out the auction house to see what's what, what's, what prices are looking like on the hour, by the hour, every hour. You know what I mean? If you got the time for it. Um, I don't know if they have a mobile game. I didn't see a mobile app anymore. So I don't know if they're still doing that. Maybe they trashed that. Who knows if they scrapped the whole mobile idea. Somebody let me know in the comment section. Y'all like the video, subscribe, and just be back here when it's time to be back here for more of the info. Kobe! Got it! Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.